How are we doing folks and welcome back to another unboxing with Big Maca B Pop Ginger. I am filming this one straight after the hunt for Elvira one, uh, just for the ease of it. But I will, it will be released at least a day or two after the other one to give you a chance to watch some of, some different content without me flooding it. So as the, for anyone that's not aware, this one is the Smuggler's Bounty and Chips and Blitz. I think that's how you say it, or Blips and Chips. Rick and Morty box. These were each uh, $19.99 on funk, uh, popfigures.com. Uh, the reason being, so I think the Rick and Morty was, has been $19.99 for a while, but the reason I managed to get the Smuggler's Bounty was because I ordered it on Star Wars Day, the 4th of May, which uh, Pop Figures, sorry, I was focused on the box then. Pop Figures celebrated by offering up to 30% off of a lot of their products and luckily for me that meant getting 10 pounds off on the smugglers bounty box I keep forgetting about this bit of tape comes in here there we go so uh, for anyone that's not familiar with the contents of some of these obviously we're going to find out right now because i'm not 100 familiar myself i know with the rick and morty one uh, there are three pops and you get two in the box so you get a, a Rick and a Morty. Those two options are, I can't remember exactly. I think they're either mind control or gaming. I'm not 100%, we'll find out. But the one that everyone wants, the hardest one to get, is a character called Roy. Now, I believe it's called Blips and Chips. I haven't seen the show properly. I've seen a few episodes. But I believe it's Blips and Chips because I think that was the name of the actual arcade they go to in one of them. And Roy was the name of a character in the game they play, so... Blips and Chips, I'm assuming, is either the arcade or the game that they're playing. As for the Smuggler's Bounty, uh, I know that comes with two pops. I know one of them is Darth Vader, which is the main reason why I bought it. because I'm starting to get a bit more into Star Wars now. A little bit. But 75% of all the ones I've actually seen all the way through were the newest three. And other than, I mean, Force Awakens was okay, but personally for me... I did not enjoy the others. I just found them to be quite predictable. But as I say, that's just my opinion on the matter. Does not affect everybody. Alright, so let's pour them out. Oh, they've actually wrapped them up nicely. So that's the Smuggler's Bounty. Uh, let's just pour out the other one. And we have our chi Blips and Chits. Now I know how to say it properly. Get this out of the way. So the first one, the first one we're going to do will be the Smuggler's Bounty. Uh, now, I'm assuming, I mean, I think, a bit like the Marvel Collector's Core, I'm pretty sure these, no, were released at least every couple of months or something with different things in. Because I've seen a few things with the Smuggler's Bounty sticker on. But, as I state, I'm not 100%. Um, so yeah, I've stated... As you'll have read the title, this is from popfigures.com, as is most of the stuff that I do on my channel at the moment. Oh, there's a bit of sticky tape there. But let's just have a little gander and have a little fun. So, just show it to you guys for. Oh, okay. Apparently, there's a couple of sections to this. So, before we get into the main section, then we have cool metal Star Wars pin with uh, a Stormtrooper on it. Uh, I can't, uh, I think that's some sort of alien language that's written just below his head. Something different, it's stuck to the top of the box. And we, and we also have a Darth Vader Death Star patch. I think it's one of the ones that you sew onto your clothes. So, something different. I am intrigued. Alright, so let's just get this little latch. I'm not looking. And show it. There we go. Right, so. That's our cheat card, so we'll have a look at that in a second. So, one of the first things that we're going to pull is the t-shirt. Now, I already knew buying this that the t-shirts would never fit me, because they don't go high enough. Because I'm a chunky monkey. But, I believe that's... A, SM, so that would be a size small, probably. Yep, that's a small pop too. 
So I'm going to keep that one in the packaging. I'm not going to open it. But it looks to depict Vader facing off against, I believe that's, yep, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So the original series one. Uh, unfortunately, when people bought these, they, they did disclaim on the website that the boxes didn't come with any sizes on them. So they weren't able to facilitate specific sizes, which not their fault. And like I said, I, I ordered it because I wanted the cool pops. So I didn't really care about the size of the t-shirt. The next item we're going to pull out. Look, oh, it looks to be a Death Star luggage tag. Something a little different. 2016 it says, so I'm assuming that's when this... Either when they established this or when this one was made. Not 100%. So let's pull out the two pops. So Vader's the second one, as we stated. But I'll show him second. As you can see, uh, both pops. I'll just show you this. Grand, was it? Grand Moff Tarkin. Again, like I said, not familiar enough with the series to know really who this guy is. But eventually I'll get around to watching the older ones. If you just show the back on this particular box, it only shows the two that you get in this Smuggler's Bounty. So that is our first one. And then I'll show you my, the one I wanted. Decent looking pop. And it's Darth Vader Bespin. Whatever the hell that means. He's got his hand out, so I'm assuming he's either doing that death grip thing or maybe he's using the force. Or maybe it's something completely different. If I'm just completely wrong, please feel free to comment below. Trying to find an angle that doesn't have the bad reflection on it, but hey ho. So yeah, so just a quick review of those. So you get the two pops. Decent enough pops. I'll put them back in the box for a second. You get the Death Star luggage tag. You'll get the Stormtrooper pin and the Vader Death Star patch. Just gonna put those on top of there. And then the final item you'll get is uh, a t-shirt. Could be worth the risk of, you know, you might get the right size, or you might not. But, firstly, like I said, for me, for 20 quid, it was worth it just to be able to get them two pops out myself, and everything else is just added bonus. So I'll probably just sell that t-shirt back on. And then, as I stated, here's just the cheat sheet. So it gives you a little information on the sculpt of the Vader Pop final product, how they came to create it. Same for that one up there, and then just a little little idea of everything that they've put inside. So, that one, happy with that. But now for the one I'm more excited about, personally. Now, I've, like I said, I've watched a few episodes of Rick and Morty. It's, like with Star Wars, I'm trying to get into it as best I can, so I'll, I'll continue to give it a few more few more episodes, see if I can get a taste for it. But, uh, so like I say, oh, this one's still got cellophane on. Like I say, the, the grail pull for this box that everyone's trying to get their hands on is the Roy Pop. So obviously the majority of them are only going to have the two Rick and Morty Pops. But maybe we can get lucky. I, I, I've gotten lucky with this company from things before. I said, anyone that's seen my first few mystery boxes, specifically my first ever video go back to my channel and check out the first one if you haven't got very lucky with the first mystery boxes i ordered from them can we get lucky with this again so uh i'm just gonna have a feel around because there's no i think they'll go with stickers anyway there seems to be paper covering it so i'm just gonna feel around let's just just to show off what's in there so the first thing we're going to pull out is the Rick and Morty stickers, uh, just in this little pod. It's, it's, oh no, it's not sealed. That's good. Right, so let's just put this down in a position where I can't see it. So we have, uh, I think that's that Mr. Meeseeks. We have um, Morty. We have some sort of rat thing. Oh, sorry. If anyone knows what it is, let me know. Some sort of rat thing. And we have 
Ricardo. Let's get a better look of him. There we go. So let's whack these back into oh. <laughs> the casing. I know this thing came with some random stuff. I think there's some socks in there too. Let's feel around, see if I can find me some socks. Oh. Okay, we're pulling out another pin this time. Blitz and Chits. I don't know if there's any variations available for these. Um, maybe there'll be a cheat card in here as well. Yep, here we are, the socks. So, I needed some new socks as well, so I'm happy about that. Just some cool Adult Swim Unisex Rick and Morty socks. I'd assume it's your standard one size fits most. Got some tickets and stuff on them, they're cool. Let's just feel around. Oh, I've already seen the pops, and so since I've already accidentally seen them, I might as well just pull them out real quick. I mean, they've got some tissue paper on them to protect them, so that's good. So, the first one we pulled was the Rick, a mind control Rick from the looks of it. Let's put that down for a second. I'll show them both better in a second. And the second one was just the Morty. So we didn't get lucky to find, uh, what's his name, Roy, this time. But hey-ho, for 20 quid, expect a couple of special editions. I still say I've got my value back between everything that's in here. Because we do have one final item, which I like that they've mixed in here. If I can just get the paper off. Which is... A special edition mystery, uh, not mystery mini, sorry. Special edition pocket pop keychain of Crumbopulous Michael, I think that says. Crumbopulous Michael, I believe. Something a little different. So, just to review, so we got the keychain. We got a Rick and the Morty special edition. What looks to be mind control or gaming. I'm, I'm assuming mind control just from the look on their blank faces. We got the Blips and Chits pin. I'll give you a better look at that a bit closer. The stickers in the random capsule, which I like that they've included this because, well, at least for the British arcades, that is plenty of machines that give out these little plastic toys. And finally, some sexy little socks. So that's everything that we've got so far. Uh, so, tune back in another day when i will have a few more things coming up so i've got um some mystery, uh, horror mystery box with pop culture coming i've got uh the predator box that was limited to one per person coming from pop figures so that's more stuff what else have i got i've got a fair few oh that was it they've also just introduced some specific mystery boxes recently which are horror and disney at the moment and no doubt they'll add more which is, uh, they've got three kinds, so you've got for £10, £13 and £17, each one. So the £10 ones for each horror or Disney come with a pop, and I believe it was a mystery mini. The £13 ones come with a pop, a mystery mini, and um, a keychain, so Disney or horror keychain. And those ones were called, I believe, the ultimate mystery boxes. And the horror or disney fanatic boxes the 17 pound ones they come with a pop a key ring a mystery mini and a five star so i've got uh what did i order i ordered the 17 pound horror fanatic one and a 13 pound disney ultimate one just to just to add some extra content to the channel and because i'm just really curious as to what's going to come inside of them I would believe, as with the normal mystery boxes, it, it's blind luck. You could get anything from a comment up to an exclusive, a chase. Maybe some of the older, more valuable ones. I'm not 100%. Don't quote me on that. But, fingers crossed, with any luck, it's a possibility. Uh, so, yeah. Um, down in the comments below, because I'm, I'm running out of time. But down in the comments below as well, if... If you're looking to expand your Funko social circles uh, with some Facebook groups for some like-minded folks, I'm going to pop a few down below, uh, one of them being Pop Pimps. That's my group, uh, only just starting out. So if you're someone that, like myself that films unboxings and YouTube videos with Funko-related products or anything geeky at this point, 
or if you've got any Funko businesses that you own or you want to promote, feel free to go to Pop Pimps. I'll put the link below as well as a few other places. Uh, sorry, uh, other pages is what I meant to say. And just, yeah, on my page specifically, feel free to post about these things. You know, we've got to come together as a community. As with the other pages, I uh, inquire with their group rules, but I believe most of them, much like my page, happy to have people post videos, post things for sale, just post about the latest grail or fantastic deal they found. So yeah, take advantage down in the description below. So until next time, folks, have a fantastic day. Stay safe during the current, uh, current situation. And yeah, just live that pop fanatic life. See you in a bit, folks.